it tested me It tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door Tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, he cares. When you see, Knock, knock, God opens up the door When you ask, he cares When you seek, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door So I'm just going to ask you some questions about your dad. I'm a dad too, so. Yeah, I know, because you're a girl and you're a boy. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Action! What is your dad like? He's funny. He's really funny. He's really funny. How is he funny? His dad jokes. You like his dad jokes? No. What are some funny things that your dad does? He claps really hard and it... And mom doesn't like it. He claps really loud. Yeah, like this. Wow. Wow. What is your dad good at? Working. He's really good at fixing things and building things. He usually goes to the fast food place to get his breakfast. What do you normally eat? Uh, biscuits and waffles. It's a lot of carbs. Is there stuff that he's not very good at? He's not very good at wrestling, I guess. Three against one. Yeah. He's not that good at hair. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, I thought you were about to say, was that a song you were singing? Um, no. <laughs> oh. What's well, something he's done you like, Dad is not very good at that. Jokes. Jokes. <laughs> is your dad pretty strong, dude? Yeah. Because he always goes to CrossFit every day. So he's a CrossFit dad. He's like, explode! To do he's that. Like, uh. Do an impersonation of your dad. <sighs> I'm just going to rest my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that your dad has taught you? Nope. What, is it, what does he teach you? Fight 
Sight words. I copy him to do what he does. And yeah, you copy him. I just do stuff to make myself learn from him. What's your favorite thing to do with your dad? Snuggle and talk with stuffed animals. Go fishing. Play wrestle with me. When you get on his back, he like yanks us off of him. How does your dad make you feel? Special? Happy. He makes me hungry from his delicious food. He makes sure we're safe. He makes me happy. Yeah, that's what he makes me feel like. Good job, bro. Hey boys and girls, so it's another exciting week at Kids Church at St. Mark's Online. Maybe you're here joining us in person and it is an exciting day because it's Father's Day. I really hope that each of you made your dad feel super special because he does so much for our families and we are all just very, very blessed to have heads in our home that can lead our families and hopefully lead us in the ways of the Lord. So today our lesson is called, Which Way to Go? And the verse is, Your word is like a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. So in the spring and fall, that is autumn and in the spring, you've probably seen huge flocks of birds flying up in the sky. So what are those guys up to? Well, every year, Certain animals move from one place to another in a very big group, and that is called, that's right, migration. So why do animals migrate? Well, usually it's to find food, or to get to warmer weather, or to reach a safer place so that they can have their babies. And what scientists don't understand is how animals know when to move and where to go. It is absolutely amazing. Perhaps it's the changes in the weather or the length of the days that tell the animals when it's time to move. And perhaps maybe they use the stars or the sun or even the wind patterns to figure out which way to go. But scientists say that animals are just born knowing. It's their instinct. But that's really just a fancy way of saying that God tells animals, his creation, what to do. I think that's what instinct is. And he does the same thing for you and me, but in a different way. When you don't know what to do, or you don't know where to go, God gives you the answers. And do you know where you can find them? Well, our verse tells us. That's right, you can find them in his word, the Bible. Some people turn to their friends or to their family for answers, or other people, they go to other people that could maybe help them with answers that they don't know what to do. And that's okay. But remember that those people are also just people and they aren't perfect. But we've got answers from the God who is perfect and he's given us his word so that we know which path to follow. Let us pray together. Lord, when I don't know what to do, teach me to turn to you and to your word for the answers that I seek. I know you will always show me the right way to go. And thank you for guiding me. Today, Lord, we thank you so much for our dads that are our earthly fathers. And we just pray that you will also keep them close to you, keep them in your hand, so that they can also guide us in your ways. We thank you for their special role today. In your precious name we pray. Amen. You guys stomp your feet like that? Now let's clap together. That's it. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I right, keep clapping now. Sounds good. Huh. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh, that sounds good.
feels so good. That's called clapping on the back beat. All right, sing this real quiet with me now. Even when I'm afraid, I'm going to let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm going to let it shine. Yes, even when I'm afraid. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I've got a really exciting fun fact today and it's about the Arctic Tern. It's a type of bird and it holds the record for the longest migration. This little bird travels more than 43,000 miles every year from its nesting grounds in the Arctic to its winter home in the Antarctica and then it flies back again. So this length is basically from one end of the earth right over to the other. And since it's an arctic tern, it can live for more than 30 years and it can travel enough miles in its lifetime to go to the moon and back again, almost three times. What an incredible little bird, how strong is that? So today, seeing that it's Father's Day and our lesson has been about which way to go, why don't you make a paper plane? And you can have a paper plane throwing competition with your dad to see who can throw their plane the furthest. We really hope that you have a wonderful day together with your family, celebrating your dads, and we can't wait to have you join us next week. Bye!